What's up guys, this is James White with Frequent Reviews bringing you As Seen on TV product reviews and more. Now if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so to see more videos like this. Now today I've got a highly requested video. It is the Granite Rock Pan, which has been advertising on television. It's advertised as a durable pan that doesn't require any oil or butter. But does it really work? Let's check it out in today's review. Now you may have seen some of my past reviews like the red copper pan and the blue diamond pan. And both of them were kind of advertised similarly to the granite rock pan where they show these demonstrations where an egg is swirling around in there without any oil or butter and passes all these durability tests. Now my big beef with these advertised pans is that usually the advertising and the instructions don't always agree. I've got the granite rock instructions right here. And even though the commercial shows them cutting a steak in the granite rock pan, the instructions clearly state no sharp objects of any type should be used on the inside or outside of the granite rock cookware. So once again, the advertising and the instructions don't agree. Not a fan of that, but that's the reality of Asian on TV products. So without further delay, let's go get started on our first test. The instructions do state that for best results for cooking eggs, use low to medium heat, which I always do anyways. Now I've already washed this off. So I'm ready to start my first test. Just a standard egg, no oil or butter, and see how well it goes. I decided to get the 12 inch square instead of the smaller round ones. Uh, this was $30 at Bed Bath & Beyond with my 20% coupon that dropped it down to about $24, which is not terrible. If it doesn't work well, then that's not a good deal at all. Let me show you what I'm seeing here. I went to lift this up and it came right up. It's a good sign. See that? It's coming right off. Usually there's a little bit of a struggle even after the first use. This is coming right off. I mean, it's kind of impressive so far just from what I'm seeing. Okay, it is flipped. It is flipped. Now is it swirling? Not really. They never really do like they show in the commercial. You have to kind of dislodge them first. Let's see how easy it is to dislodge this though. Oh yeah, it's pretty easy. It's not sliding around, but it's not stuck either. Kind of looks like a guitar a little bit, huh? Like my guitar egg. All right, it's dislodged, but it's still not sliding around. That's just, I think it's just a commercial thing there. I think as a realistic test, it did okay. I think I'd probably still use a little bit butter anyways, but you know, I think it's pretty good. First test I think would be a success, but you, you know, they always are a success at first. Let's try a few more things and then see how it goes. Oh wait, I have to do my, my required slide out test because that's a sign of a good pan, right? At least in the SE on TV world. All right, it did slide out. Of course, like I said, you got to dislodge it first. It's not just going to slide around without doing that first, but I think realistically that's pretty good. Actually, it slides around the paper plate better than the pan. All right, so the first test of the egg went about as expected. You have to dislodge it, but it still didn't stick. But let me get right to one of their demonstrations where they put some shredded cheese in there. They kind of burn it a little bit and it just slides right out. No dislodging. Will that actually happen? I don't think so, but let's try it. By the way, here's a close up of the pan surface. I actually kind of like the way it looks. Attractive pan. I'm going to put this on around five. Let it heat up and then put some shredded cheese in there. Okay, I'm going to put a kind of a big handful of cheese on here. Let it melt. Okay, I'm not sure exactly how much they put. I'm just kind of guessing, but we're going to let that melt. And then it should just pour right out if the commercial is accurate. Do you guys think this will actually just pour out of here without being dislodged like the show in the commercial? I'm skeptical, but I'm hopeful at the same time. While that's heating up, I was going to point out also that it also says never use nonstick sprays, which I will not do. And it says if you use extra virgin olive oil to make sure you use low heat. I actually found that as accurate as well. Am I the only one who actually thinks that looks kind of good to eat? It looks kind of appetizing. All right, I think this might be worth it because I see all the brown right there. Let's see. The handle is still cool. And... Uh, well... I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't think that really worked. That did not do it. Now, okay, that's kind of what I, actually, I don't, that's even worse than I expected. Let me see how easy that comes off though. Okay, well, on the, on the flip side, look how nice that comes off. Very easy. They should just show them using a spatula. Why, why do they have to show it being poured out? Because look how nice that came out. That's actually impressive 
when you forget the ridiculous advertising. Look at how easy that came out. That's great. They should just show it realistically with this spatula. Because I'm actually impressed when I forget the advertising hype. I'm gonna say that's a success. Forget the whole pouring out thing. I think that actually is very impressive. Sorry, I'm still a sucker for burnt cheese. Mm. So the next demonstration is a little bit weird. They've got chocolate caramel and shredded cheese. I'm gonna try that. Will I taste that though? We'll see. We got some chocolate. We've got some caramels here. And topped it off with some shredded cheese, which makes no sense. But that's what they showed. Okay, right now it looks like the cheese on the outside is pretty burnt. And the chocolate is mostly melting. Caramel's, the caramel's a little bit slower on the melting side, but I'll do my best with this. I'm gonna let everything kind of melt. All right, I wanna know before I'm finished, how many of you guys would actually taste this? Because I'm going to taste it. I'm just curious. Now this is very burnt over here. That's gonna be, I'm gonna be curious how that comes out. This middle section's kinda of taking a little bit longer. Crank up the heat a little bit. I'll go up to seven. Really kinda of burn it on there. Let me just check the edge here. Wow, it's, hey, that burnt cheese on the edges are coming, it's coming right off. I think I'm close enough. I think most of it's melted. Let's see if, how this pours out. All right, it smells like burnt chocolate. Whoa, hey. Besides a little bit of the cheese, it came right out. And that cheese will come off as well. Hey, I gotta say, that's, that's pretty impressive. Oh, that looks so nasty. Nasty. But guess what, I'm gonna try it. Let's give it a shot. The caramel cheese chocolate combination. Make sure I get a little bit of everything in here. Here we go. Hmm. 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 Mm mm. Mm mm. That's a no right there. No. It impressively poured out of the pan, pretty much like the commercial. I think it, that, this is actually better than the cheese demonstration. So right now the granite rock pan is hanging in there and doing a good job. Let's see what's next. All right. This next demonstration is not something they showed in the commercial. It's something I came up with on my own. I wanna try melting some marshmallows in this pan and seeing how it does with that. And I'm also gonna try out my blue diamond pan and my red copper pan and see how they compare. So that should be an interesting test. Let's check it out. Okay, here we go. We got the granite rock pan, the red copper pan, and the blue diamond pan. I've had this for a year and a half. I've taken good care of it, it's still in good shape. Had this for a few months, taking care of it, still in good shape. Obviously this is the new guy in the block. Let's see how he really compares. I'm gonna melt these marshmallows and do the dump test. Well, this is going to be fun. It's not scientific. I'm not making it perfect. I'm just kind of throwing some in there like a normal person would do it. It's about the same amount, I think. Pretty close. Okay, it's roughly the same amount in all three. Different size pans, so I mean, it's not going to be exactly scientific. I'm going to let these melt a little bit and then see what happens, see who comes out on top unless they all pass the test. It's starting to look a little bit brown, starting to smell a little bit burnt. Let's see, oh, ho, oh, 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 that is burnt. Burnt, burnt, burnt. This one's going off. I think these are looking kind of burnt too. First up, the granite rock. Whoa, 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 ho, whoa. Wow, look at that. Maybe one of the most impressive pan tests I've done. Wow, I am actually shocked and impressed. Good job, Granite Rock. Now let's try the year and a half old red copper pan and see what it does. Maybe I need to dislodge that a little bit. Well, well I'll get something for that. Let me. Oh, is that hot? Wow, I forgot how hot that gets. The blue diamond pan gets hot. Wow, is that hot. Okay, I need something to dislodge that as well. Let's see if I can dislodge this a little bit. Hmm. Oh, wow, that's, that's not good.
Red copper. Yikes. Blue diamond. Better. Better than the red copper. Came out pretty good. Just need a little bit of scraping. Pretty good. Not perfect. But once again, look at that. Very impressive. I'm shocked and impressed at that result. Before I clean these up, I wanted to point out that this handle is pretty cool. This handle is pretty cool, but the blue diamond handle is pretty hot. About burnt my hand on that one. So that's one feature of the blue diamond pan that puts it below these other two. What I had to do for the red copper pan is to heat up some soapy water so this marshmallow would come out. So this was by far the worst of the three. I know it's a year and a half old, but I've never had any problems with it. Of course, I don't think it's been through that specific test before. So the red copper pan, I would say did not pass the marshmallow test, but luckily it's coming out pretty good. If you ever have a problem with these pans, clean them up, put some water and some soap on the stove, heat it up, and then it comes out pretty good. Better than scraping it, that ruins the surface. So far, the granite rock is the champ of that test. In the commercial, they put a Jolly Rancher with wrapping on and a couple without, melted it, and then wiped it out with a towel. I was impressed with the marshmallows. Will I be impressed with the Jolly Ranchers? We shall see. All right, look at this. Melted Jolly Ranchers inside the granite rock pan. And in the commercial, they used just a rag and wiped it right out. Here we go. I'm almost nervous for some reason. I don't know why. Wow. I mean, I feel it's a little bit sticky. Ouch. That's hot. But yeah, look at this. Look at this. And look at this. That's not good. So I've got to say so far, the granite rock pan has passed every test. I would say with flying colors, including the Jolly Rancher test. Now I'm going to try some real world demonstrations where I do some actual cooking of items, but I, I got to say I'm impressed. I've tried a lot of these pans before and I haven't seen these kind of results even right out of the box. So, so far, so good. All right, kind of a real world test here. I got a sauce I'm going to be putting in with these noodles. That's the Gotham Steel Pasta Pot, by the way. So let's see how well this does or does not stick. It's leaving a little bit of residue in there, but I'm not sure how well that's going to clean out or not. All right, let's see how easy this cleans up. I would say pretty easy. Keep in mind, I haven't done any scrubbing whatsoever. This is all just water washing this off. Wow. I got a little bit here I got to wipe out. Oh, well, maybe not. I'm just going to put a little bit of soap in here just to make sure. Oh, that cleaned up really fast and really nice. That was pretty easy. Still liking it. All right, so I'm actually on my way to the store right now. I'm going to get some bacon. I'm going to duplicate their bacon and egg dish they show cooking. They show it slide right out. My guess is it's going to have to be dislodged at the very least. But if you look at the actual comparison of when the dish is being cooked versus when it's poured out, the placement of the bacon and the placement of the tomatoes are a little bit different. It's almost like maybe that was shot separately when they poured it out versus when they were cooking it. I'm not sure. All right, the instructions clearly state to use low to medium heat when you're doing eggs. I've got it on about three and a half and it's been warming up here, so it should be ready to go. Now my pan is bigger than when they show in the commercial, so I'm going to use just, I'm just going to go on one side. That shouldn't affect things too much if it's the nonstick surface is that good. Okay, there we go. Now the commercial shows the bacon. It looks like it's already been cooked up, so I cooked this up a little while ago. I'm going to place it on there like they have it. That's what they show. Can't forget the cheese. All right, when this is done, it should just slide right out. But I think it's done now. I'm going to try my dump test. All right, will it slide right out? Uh oh, look at this. Look at that. Whoa. Wow. My skills at sliding were good, but it slid right out. Look at this. 
I saw the commercial. Amazing! It actually worked like the commercial. I'm completely shocked. I even had a spatula already thinking I was going to have to dislodge it, but I did not. That's incredible. I'm actually impressed. I don't get impressed very easily. I am impressed. I've got two more tests. I've got some shrimp. I've got a chicken breast that I'm going to cook and cut in the pan like they show. So let's get started. Once again, no butter, no oil, no spray, nothing. Just right in the pan. Usually it's getting pretty sticky by about now. Let's see. Well, it came right off. Wow. It's pretty nice. I don't think I would normally cook it without any butter or, butter or oil. I'd probably put some something in there, but just for demonstration purposes, it's nice to, nice to see. All right, all the shrimp has been flipped now. And let's see, the other side is sticking. Still doing good. I'm not saying it's going to slide around in there. I mean, it does come, it does have to be dislodged slightly, but it's barely. For no oil or butter, I think it's doing a pretty good job. I'm a fan of the pan. I'm a fan of this pan. I'm going to say that right now. Officially a fan of this pan. Also say the handle's warm, but not hot. See, it's not just dumping right out, obviously. I think that's unrealistic for some situations. All it did with the eggs. That should, that should suffice, I think. All right, now we've got some residue in the bottom of this pan. Now let's see what happens with this. Um, I'm gonna let this cool a little bit first, then I'm gonna clean it out. All right, this is the most residue I've seen in this pan so far, so I'll be curious if that cleans out or not. It's coming out. This is hard to film and clean at the same time, by the way. My cameraman is not here, so I'm on my own. For the most part, everything is coming right out. Actually, not for the most part. It, it, everything is coming right out. I wasn't too worried based on my other experiences, but so far, this thing is doing great. Cleaned up in just a matter of seconds. I've got nothing bad to say about it. How about a nice sticky chicken breast. I'm gonna let that cook up and then I'm gonna cut it in half in the pan. Now when I first started doing reviews a couple years ago on YouTube, I tr back then I tried to replicate the exact demonstrations they show in the commercials, but over time I realized that that's not always beneficial because some of the demonstrations they show people aren't gonna actually do, so what use is that to show you whether it survives some outrageous demonstration or not, like they're breaking something in the pan with a hammer, I mean nobody's gonna do that. Now, a demonstration like I'm about to try where they cut the steak, or in my case, chicken, in the pan to see if it scratches that, I think that's valid. But some of those over-the-top ones, not only do they not serve any purpose, but it also usually destroys the pan and then I can't give a follow-up down the road. So I'd rather stick to demonstrations that are useful in real world, not something that a nasty on TV marketing person came up with. All right, let's try to flip this over now and see if it's sticking. It is not sticking. Okay, well that's flipped very nicely. The idea of this test is to see if I scratch the bottom when I cut this meat in the pan like they show in the commercial. So let me try that. All right, I did cut it. I didn't press overly hard. Um, doesn't really seem like I'm scratching it too much. When I clean this up, I'm going to take a closer look, but I don't see any major scratches in here. I probably could if I really tried, but I'm not going to try. I'm just, I just cut the meat and it didn't scratch. All right, so in conclusion, I think the Granite Rock Pan passed every test that I threw at it. In fact, I think it actually exceeded my expectations in some of those, such as the marshmallows. So I think this is a great pan. Some people have said they've heard otherwise. All I can do is speak from my own conclusions with my own tests, and it worked fine for me. Now, I also made sure I was careful to follow basic care procedures. I didn't use very high heat. I didn't scrub it with abrasives when cleaning it. I really didn't use metal utensils except for the one knife test, which I wouldn't do that normally anyways, just to preserve the surface. But will it last over time? That's the other thing I have to find out because sometimes these pans are great at first and not over time. I'll continue to take care of it as I have with my other pans and they've all lasted. So I expect nothing less from this. If I do get less than that, I'll let you know. Have you used the Granite Rock Pan? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures and videos as I go, and check out my brand new Patreon page, 
which just launched. Please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.